Okay, welcome to SAT 3310. This is scripting for administration and automation. Today we're going to be talking about um, web and network functions uh, with Perl. Uh, some review, I want to talk a little bit about this idea of extending the functionality of Perl with modules. Uh, the Perl modules network is called CPAN or the Comprehensive Perl Archive Network. Uh, this is more than 25,000 software packages that you can use to uh, extend the functionality of Perl uh, without having to reinvent the wheel. Um, if you want Perl to do something more like, more than likely somebody else has already done it and made a module. Uh, you can review the CPAN modules at cpan.org or metacpan.com. Basically, uh, to activate the CPAN shell, uh, you just say Perl uh, dash mcpan dash e shell, which will get you into the cpan shell, and then you can do things like, uh, for example, you want to install the the bundle called lwp. Another way of doing this, uh, rather than using the the Perl cpan shell, is just to use a yum or dnf um, install. So in this example, we're doing a, a dnf search. Uh, you do say, for example, DNF search Perl LWP, uh, and then you would do like a DNF install Perl LWP. Um, then once the a module like this would be installed, you could just in Perl you would just use that module. Uh, for example, again use LWP, and then you could print. Um, this is the lib Perl version. Uh, as shown in this example. So talking about Perl LWP, this is the lib www Perl. Uh, it's a, a collection of Perl modules uh, basically to help simplify working with uh, www functions. Um, you could do a full-on web client. You could, you could do a full-on web server by with using Perl LWP. What we're going to be doing is more uh, using Perl to create uh, HTTP objects. Um, you could use LWP again to do everything from HTTP secure to Gopher to FTP to UUCP to um, file to mail. I mean, any of these sort of HTTP um, style URLs. So let's go through and actually look at some LWP examples. Um, what we'd be doing here is in this example, we're using the module uh, LWP simple, and there's a function called head where you get the HTML headers of a certain URL. So in this example, um, we're going to just say uh, use LWP and then we can use the command head with the string URL. Um, it's going to get the document headers and it's going to return the content type, document length, modified time, the expiration date, and the server type. And it's actually the server type that we're going to be interested in later on in the lab. Um, again, more uh, examples. So I'm going to say my and I'm going to define this this list. Um, if if I'm going to define uh, all of these things here again, the type, length, modified time, expiration, and server, I'm just making new variables called type, length, modification time, expire, and server type, and that's equal to the LWP function head of the complete URL, and then you can actually print out each of those variables. So again, um, this is a, a very uh, uh, useful module provided in Perl. Um, you could use uh, get to actually get in URL. It would fetch the document. Um, you could get the, you can use LWP uh, simple to get and store a document. So this would, again, get just gets the the, the document and returns it. Get store gets the document and then saves it locally to a file. Um, so again, you could use uh, LWP simple 
uh, get store to say download a data file off the internet. Um, last thing I just want to, again, this is a little bit of review. Um, the while um, variable equals something. This is a, a, a nice a loop that you can use in Perl. So you can say while there's data in a file handle, you can do something. So you can say um, while line uh, in a, a file handle, do something. So this is going to be a, a good technique to use in the lab.